Thank you for tuning in to the Ontario Singles Crokinole Championship third place match. In this matchup, we have Josh Carfiello versus Connor Reinman. Both of these competitors made it to the semi-final round and then were unfortunately defeated in what were very close matches. Both going 9-7, Reinman lost against Andrew Hutchinson and Carfiello losing against Justin Slater. These players will now be playing for the third place title. Ryman up first, leaving a backboard for Carfiello, which he drains. Carfiello with the hammer advantage in a nice position now. Carfiello going long, but leaving Ryman with not much other than follow through if he wanted the 20. Looks like just a little bit of a roll away. Carfiello content to just push through. Carfiello landing between the pegs. Maybe opportunity now for Ryman to try to hide. Good spot there, but Carfiello gets it, leaving his own on the board. Now Carfiello can continue hitting these hides. He will not be upset with this whatsoever. Carfiello has last shot in this match. So Ryman now either needs a fantastic hide or an angle in 20 and almost gets it just lipping out. Carfiello just needs to hit. He gets the off and Carfiello will be taking this first round. The score going two to nothing for Carfiello. See a few of these shots. Very nice hit on that hide. Carfiello opening this first round, missing his first shot. Reinman with a misfire, peeling. Restarting the match, seven discs for each player. Carfiello and Ryman both in their groove now for those open 20s. Both of these players are very proficient in their 20 shooting, so we will see how long this race goes. Reinman, the first to miss now, going a little bit long. Carfiello being up in the 20s, content just to keep play away from the center. Looks like he was pushing through for that 20. It would have been a very good advantage. Fortunately, has not left Ryman a lot to work with. Ryman doesn't get the off. And Carfiello, making sure he doesn't catch a peg, rolls off but leaves a disc far on his side of the board, forcing Ryman to peel. Carfiello seals this second round, draining that 20, bringing the score to 4-0 to Carfiello. Ryman now with a bit of work to catch up draining that first 20 in this third round. Both players seem to have found their groove now. Reinman just lips out. Doesn't leave Carfiello a nice shot. Carfiello leaving what could be an opportunity for a 20 here. Reinman trains it going up two to one in the 20s cup. Carfiello with an unfortunate roll might have been going for the 20 and Reinman with a very nice play here leaving two discs on his side of the board. Ryman now with lots to work with, very content to keep playing on the outside. See here, leaves Carfiello's disc on the board. Unless Carfiello can get all the discs off, Ryman will be more than happy to keep playing on the outside. Looks like Carfiello just caught his own, so an invalid shot. <laughs> Ryman peeling, forcing Carfiello to continue playing on the outside. Carfiello will be looking for a double here. And he gets it along with the own off, his own off. Forcing play back to the center and Ryman drains that 20. 220 advantage now. Not much Carfiello can do. He will be looking for a mistake, which Ryman does not give. Ryman will be taking the third round of this third place match. Score now. 4-2, to two. we see that very nice 20 in this tactical play here to keep play on the outside. We go into the fourth round now. Carfiello coming up short, leaving Reinman a backboard opportunity. Carfiello lipping out again, maybe another backboard for Reinman, which he gets. Reinman now in his groove. Up 120 with hammer advantage. Reinman now to come up short. Backboards for both players. Ryman lipping out a little bit far on the right side. Carfiello trying to go for that follow through. Doesn't quite get it. 
Ryman now content just to keep play away from the center, not to open any doors for Carfiello. And goes to the outside. Very nice. Carfiello peeling. Hoping now for a mistake out of Reinman. Again, doesn't give. Carfiello will need to get this 20 to make Reinman shoot. And this fourth round will be going to Reinman. Bringing the score to 4 4. Reinman closing the gap. Players now tied up. This is a race to nine. So just under halfway to the mark. Ryman now maybe with a drop back opportunity and gets it. Very slow drop, very nice shot. Carfiello does have hammer though, so he is in a very nice position. Being up 120 now. Ryman goes long on the right side of the hole. Carfiel looks like he was going for that follow through, pushes play to Ryman's side of the board. Ryman also trying to follow through. Maybe a tight angle, nice shot from Carfiello. Shooting faster than I can call it. I had it in mind, I swear. Players now back to the 20s. Carfiello with a 120 advantage, 220 advantage. Inconsequential shots now. Carfiello will be taking this fifth round. The score going to six to four for Carfiello. See very nice shots from both players going back and forth. Carfiello coming up short, leaving what looks to be a heavy hanger for Reinman, which he drains, no hesitation. Reinman in a comfortable position now, being tied up one in the 20s with Hammer. Carfiello going long on the right side of the hole. Reinman very content to peel to the outside. We see that nod from him. Carfiello trying to bring it back in, but goes a little bit long. Ryman, with lots of work with on the outside of the board, will be more than content to stay on the outside here, forcing Carfiello to peel and leaving him a 20 opportunity. Carfiello will be hoping for a mistake. Ryman does mess up, but he is short enough away from the hole that Carfiello doesn't have an opportunity there. Carfiello will have to peel now, or stay on, my bad. Inconsequential, Reinman will be taking this round, bringing the score to 6-6 six, six now. Seeing very nice shots, both for the 20s and tactical plays for Reinman. Reinman to open up this round, draining the 20. Players back in their groove. Reinman lipping out again, but in an awkward spot for Carfiello. Unable to get the off, unfortunately catches a peg. Ryman draining a 20, making it hurt. Carfiello does have hammer advantage and never mind, closes the gap. I was gonna say Ryman is in a good position. And Carfiello pulls that 20 out of the hat. Very nice shot from him. Also draining that heavy hanger. Very nice work, now tied 3-3. Uh, three to four now for Carfiello in the 20s cup. Up 120 with the hammer. Very good position for Carfiello. Leaving his disc between the pegs. Looks like Ryman was hoping to catch a peg. Go for that Peggy Sue 20. Shots inconsequential now. Carfiello will be taking this round. Bring the score eight to six. With this being a race to nine. Carfiello now very close to a victory. All he needs now is a tie. Even if he gets a tie in this round, he will win third place. Carfiello up 120, but Ryman with hammer advantage. Not a terribly large gap to close. Catching a peg, Ryman now will be hoping for an opportunity most likely to come in unless he can get a really nice hide on Carfiello. Currently unsuccessful in that range. We'll see, pushing closer and closer to behind that peg. Carfiello forced to go through Hogan's now. Gets the shot. Ryman going for that spot again, trying to get that perfect angle. He does force a peel out of Carfiello. 20 opportunity now for Ryman. Doesn't get it, just lips out. Carfiello will most likely be content to <laughs> keep play away. Ryman almost getting it off the pegs. 
Carfiello now. Most likely to take this round. Yes. Even if Ryman gets a 20, it is a tie. Carfiello wins this final round, which means he has won the third place spot. Congratulations, Carfiello, for winning this match. Very good performance from both players. Stay tuned as the finals match of this tournament will be coming out shortly. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, happy flicking.